Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. Back to My Mac is one of the most powerful features in iCloud. It allows you to quickly and easily connect any or all of your Macs regardless of where they are. If you've ever run into a situation where the files you need are at home, but you are away on business, then this is the tutorial for you. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up both of your Macs so they can control one another. I'll also show you how to share files between the two Macs and how to control one Mac from another. Lastly, I'll show you how to access files from a time capsule you have using Back to My Mac as well. Let's get started. To enable Back to My Mac, launch your System Preferences pane and click on iCloud. If you aren't already signed into iCloud, do so now. Scroll to the bottom of the panel and enable Back to My Mac. You also need to make sure your Mac is prepared to do file and screen sharing with authorized connections. Click back to return to the System Preferences menu then click on Sharing. Make sure File Sharing and Remote Management are enabled. Under File Sharing, set up the preferences that fit your security tastes best. Then click Back. Repeat these steps for each and every Mac you want to be able to either use as a controlling computer or that you want to be able to control using Back to My Mac. Now that all of your computers are connected and ready to share over Back to My Mac, I will show you how to transfer files between two computers. Close System Preferences, and launch Finder. In the Finder window, look to the left sidebar under the Shared category, and you'll see all of your connected devices through Back to My Mac. I'm going to choose my iMac, which is in a completely different location. Back to My Mac has already connected me using my iCloud ID. Now I can explore my hard drive and transfer any files from my iMac over to this computer. To control the screen, mouse, and keyboard of one of your Back to My Mac connected machines, move over to the sidebar and choose it then choose Share Screen from the top right. You'll be instantly shown a real-time image of your remote machine. You'll also have the ability to control the keyboard and mouse, which means you can open and close applications, type as if you are really there, and more. It really is that easy to access files or control computers completely using Back to My Mac. Lastly, I'll show you how to enable Back to My Mac on a time capsule by launching the airport utility. But first, I'm going to close the screen share window as well as the active finder window I have up. Now I will launch the airport utility and click on it. From here, I'll click edit. And I already have my back to my Mac ID created, but for demonstration's sake, I'm going to go ahead and remove it and re-add it. And by entering in my Apple ID credentials, I've connected my time capsule to back to my Mac. I'll click Update and Continue, and when the airport comes back online, I'll be able to access it from any Mac that is connected to the internet anywhere in the world. This will work just like I demonstrated with the iMac. I'll be able to see my time capsule in the Finder window, and then using the Finder interface, I'll be able to move files back and forth between my computer and my time capsule, even if they aren't in the same place. Back to My Mac is one of the best, most underutilized features of the iCloud suite. Understanding the use of it can save you countless hours of frustration or worry. When it comes to files, you no longer need to worry about where to store the file, or which Mac you may need to access it from later. Just save the file on the computer you're using, and if needed, Back to My Mac can retrieve it for you. When it comes to remote desktop services, you no longer need to rush out and buy expensive RDP or VNC software. iCloud has you covered. If you're feeling extra creative, you can even turn your Mac into a sort of drop cam. By enabling the built-in webcam, then accessing the screen share feature, you can see whatever that computer sees anytime you like. The possibilities are truly remarkable. In this tutorial, I showed you how to set up both Macs to control one another. I also showed you how to share files between two Macs. I also showed you how to set up screencasting and control one Mac from the other, as well as access files from a time capsule using Back to My Mac. Thanks for watching.